first memory of 100% Design was when we first showed the loop table, which was in 96, I believe. And that's when Julio Capellini and Jasper Morrison were wandering around and Julio said, I want to put this in my collection. So yeah, it was a pretty good start. Really. That was the moment for us that changed the trajectory of what we were doing, because until then we were basically an architecture practice. We just had a one mock-up, one prototype that was made by Isocon and we showed it 100% design and that was fortuitous because it sort of launched our careers in the furniture industry. Had that not happened, I don't really know what we'd be doing. It's probably fair to say that 100% design draws more people to London, actually, from, from the commercial side of the business than you know, the London Design Festival alone. But it's great that the two work in partnership because you have one which is sort of more spread out, obviously, across London with lots and lots of events, but underpinning that is the 100% design, which has the kind of commercial side to it and brings buyers and people from all over the world to London to look at what we do here and what's happening.